today we're going to learn about forces, we're going to learn about gravity and friction, we're going to learn about Newton's three laws of motion, and then we're going to use those ideas to build a fan car. Stay tuned to see the car. I see you! Like and subscribe! Time for the first law. <laughs> So, the first law is, is that if there is not a force acting on something, it won't change. Things will be in balance. Balance. So, if I have a ball, my ball won't move unless I put a force on it. I am Snooker King! Remembering that a force is a... Push! Ball! Great. So... If a ball is moving, it won't stop unless some force acts upon it. Like, if this massive, massive cruise ship is moving, some force has to stop it. In this case, I guess the force will be all that water pushing against it. And some force has to move it forward. In which case, here is the thrust from its engines. Time for the second law. Uh -huh. This one is about force, mass, and acceleration. The second law is that force equals mass times acceleration, which sounds quite a difficult idea, but all that means is if you have something with very little mass and you put some force on it, then this happens. Do ba do ba 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 do. It accelerates super fast. Whereas if you have something with lots of mass that's super heavy and you put the same amount of force on it, this happens. So it doesn't accelerate at all, really. Time for law number three. Uh -huh. This one is about every action being equal and opposite reaction. The third law of motion is that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, which again sounds kind of tricky, but really is kind of easy. If pen is on your desk, then your pen is pushing down because gravity is putting it down, and the desk must be pushing up with an equal force, otherwise it will be going down. Here. It's really useful for us. Because when we make our fan car, the fan will be pushing backwards. And it's not really clear why that will make our fan go our fan car go forwards. Our fan car will go forward because of Newton's third law. The air will be pushing backwards, it will create an opposite reaction of pushing the car forwards. When we build our car, we're going to think about all the forces which are interplaying with our car. But there are some tips to doing this. The tips to doing this is to make sure that the wheels are nicely snug and attached and can move easily. And to make sure there's very little friction and the rubbing between the axles. So, when we build our car, we want to make friction as low as possible, thrust as high as possible. And we want to make sure that our car has the directed thrust to go forward. Great, now it's time to build our car. Today, we will build a fan car. For the experiment, you're going to need certain equipment. Some scissors, drinking straws, plastic boarding, a hot glue gun, some pieces of dowel, and something to act as a wheel. You'll also need this fan and motor set. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is put my fan together. I have a big fan and a small fan. It's because you're small. No, no, you can't. There we 
You're gonna have to pick it up. Oh, I... See, look, there are wires. At the end of our wire, these little metal pins, look. And there are hoops on the end of our engine. And we are just going to loop in the hoop, the wires, kind of like this, look. And then loop them around so that they are attached like that. Oliver Buss then, he's going to set up my little wire and engine system for me. Ready, Oliver Buss? Oh. Great. Incredible, Oliver Puss. As always, those six arms and two legs coming into play there to make it super fast. Well done. The next thing we need to do is attach our straws to our plastic boarding. Here, look, the straws and, uh, huh. They're going to need to be very, very even. And I could probably cut a little bit of those straws off because I don't need them to be this long. And remember when we talk about forces, the longer they are, the more rub is going to happen with our axle and that's going to create more friction, which is going to slow our car down. Oliver Pussman going to help me cut, I figure, about this length here. Okay, and then probably about to here. Get, get careful, Oliver Bus. Get, 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 da, 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 ah, da. I'm gonna cut the straws so that they are equal length. Same length straw. It's important that we get the straws straight so that they don't create unnecessary drag. Here, look, I'm using a hot glue gun. You do not have to use a hot glue gun. They are a little hot, and so a little bit dangerous. If you want to use normal glue, that's fine. Probably sensible. Yeah. <coughs> Ow! You don't want to get burned. needs to be cut as short as possible. We want it to go through all the way through the straw and then a little bit out like this. So I figure, hmm. When we come to gluing our axle onto our wheel, we must make sure it is entirely central. Otherwise, it will create too much drag and friction. set up neatly like this, uh, quite perpendicular to the wheel. Look, we can start to attach the other wheel, but remember that you must slide this through first before attaching the wheel here. Otherwise, you will have absolutely no way of attaching it onto the car. Now that our car chassis is uh, complete, we can start working on attaching the engine to it. Ooh, teacher, teacher, the fan's gonna hit the floor, teacher. Actually, yeah, this is a, a really standard problem we have making our fan cars. The fan blades turn around and they hit the floor. So normally we have to raise up our fan a little bit to stop that happening. Kind of works. 
working, although not exactly amazing. As you'll know from our design process experiment, one of the things we're going to do is see what problem we have and how we can solve it. Here, what problem did we have? Yeah, I think that's about it. The, the batteries had a lot of mass, so gravity was pulling down hard on our car. Cast your gravity! And our batteries and our motor, they didn't have very much thrust. I wonder how we could improve that. Here, I've added a much smaller and somewhat more powerful motor We can see when we first made our fan car, it had quite a lot of mass pulling it down, so it didn't really go forward very fast. When we added a much smaller motor with a much smaller battery with greater thrust, it pushed it forward much more quickly. In fact, it, it smashed the fan into little pieces, so I had to use a different fan. And when I added two motors with two fans, I increased the thrust, but also, of course, increased the amount of friction, that rubbing force, and the amount of gravity pulling down. But it went forward much faster. Remember, this is a process. We do something, we get better, and we try again. Why not share a video of you making your fan car? You can even share it at this Facebook site if you want to. <laughs>